and welcome to my playhouse. Hello there. Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Now we're gonna show this Finnish dude around so he can see what my playhouse is all about. And yeah, I've had this house for about 10 years now and haven't gotten as far as I had hoped for when I got it. So let's let's get the grand tour. Yeah, there's a horse trailer in the driveway. Don't ask. These are my tomato plants that I need to do an upgrade on, but well, they are dying as well. Over well that's here. not what we're here, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is my outside workshop where I do rough stuff. And in here is my home data center where I do a lot of video work. That's a proper big server, <coughs> server rack. There is two racks of servers here and most of it is off. I usually just turn it on when I need it because they do draw a fair amount of power. So what do you actually use them for? Yeah, I, I use them for rendering. I built this for doing 3D Max rendering. They're all running VMware ESXi 6.0, which is a hypervisor. One server with this software and you can have 20 Microsoft servers or Linux servers and stuff on top of that and they can run at the same time sharing the same resources. So how, how old are the machines for the most part? Um, some of them are old. These are just about nine years old. And this is nine years old and the newest one is about six years old. Five, six years old. Oh, so you could basically fit all of this into one modern machine if you really wanted to? No. They, they are actually more powerful than that. All right. They benchmark at around 8,000 on CPU benchmark, pass mark. This one is my 24 seven server, which is always on. And that benchmarks about 14,000 or something like that. Oh Jesus. Right, so these are all just faster than my video editing computer at home then. <laughs> Probably all of them. <laughs> I don't know what you have at home. But, you know. Nothing fancy. So, yeah, that's a server room, and I have a lot of spare parts and stuff that I can't fit in the in the racks. And I really need to do some more videos on that. <laughs> well, needs needs to have videos coming up, right? I just close the door. It becomes cold here now. Yeah, let's go in here. In here is the living room where I. I've been making a YouTube project here over, well, more or less all summer. I've been making this wood stove in the middle of the of the living room. Oh, and while there is new viewers, I will uh, I will brag with this and turn it on. And there is LED lighting behind the wood stove. So that doesn't look very wood stovey. Yeah, I think this is the porno light. So <laughs> if I get any. Uh, Russian lap dancers, that's that's the light of Russian that. lap dancers. I had a lot of fun building that <clears throat> not as much fun uh, Cutting up tiles. I've got really tired of cutting tiles over here. I've just been playing with uh, Green screen this morning for the first time ever. I'm gonna try and make a cut or a, a short scene where I'm using a green screen Talking to myself. Isn't that that's what you normally do when you're making videos yeah, online? Yeah, but there's only one of me. <laughs> On this one there's going to be two of me, so it's going to be double fantastic videos. Probably going to be hell editing, but well. Otherwise, I, I do also does, I'll do projects in here. I take a server out of the data center to have a look down inside of it. This is an IBM 3650 Model 3. And we take the cover off, I've changed processors, RAM, network cards, power supplies, hard drives, RAID controllers and stuff, taking it apart, showing what everything is, putting it back together and installing some software on it. That's proper nerdy stuff. Yeah, awesome. And I even have some fan mail here. In here is the, the other living room where I use a fair amount of time uh, doing commenting on my videos. It's taking up two to three hours a day just replying to everybody. Oh wow, you're a famous person, Morton. It, it feels like it sometimes. I just made this this morning. I was using the webcam here and I stuck up some lights and they have a remote. 
very awesome. professional. <laughs> very low tech. I like that. I like I like solving things with next to nothing hardware. In the basement we have the next <coughs> big thing that I play with. This is my basement and this is where I play with my electronic stuff and batteries and solar power and this is something that I played with that actually no one has seen yet. Oh, it's sneak peeks. Yeah. Well, I made it some time ago. I was just playing with LEDs and making a new studio light. So I mounted. Uh, we're gonna die now, aren't we? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit light. So, but that was meant to go on a on a, on a stand, on a camera stand, and point in some direction with some something on top of it, so that it wouldn't blind everybody. But oh, I never finished it. This is this is one of my other projects. This these are lithium ion cells, taking them out of old laptops, and I can't can't keep up. People keep getting me old laptop cells and um, even though I charge and discharge them to see what the capacity they are, they just keep stacking up there. When, when people heard that I got that, they just kept giving me batteries. Feels like home. And why do you have a hole in the floor there? There's a well down there and I have a well pump. A well? A well, 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 well. Yes, there's water. The water level is very high here, so I have to empty out the basement from water, otherwise it will actually be flooding down here. So did you take drinking water out of that? No, no. I, um, I've made the system so I can use it for the washing machine, but otherwise this goes out into the garden. In oh. here I have another project that I've been mislicting for quite a while. There's a part where I go in and you never see me again. I have a UPS here that I'm connected to some batteries that I want to try and power some of the house with. And that's for the lithium ion cells as well. This uh, UPS takes two times 48 volts. So with enough battery capacity, I should be able to power something up to 3000 watts. How much is solar power do you have? I have 1000 watts of solar power. Oh so wow. So the idea is to charge the batteries during the week when I'm not here and kind of use the, the power during the weekend when I am here. So oh, that's cool. What kind of a charge controller are you using? The cheap ass Chinese one. MP they're, th they're the best. Is it an MPPT at least? Um, the label says so. I have my <laughs> doubts. And here is a water heater. I've also been trying to power that actually. I did a video on that. Trying to power the water heater with the electric power. And stuff. Is it a I gas heater or? No, it's solar heated and there is an electric heater and I can heat it with the wood stove also. A wood stove? Yeah, right next door. So would you mind telling me what this contraption is? That one is the old well. There oh. used to be a kitchen on top of this. But, well, it hasn't been in use as long as I've had the house. But I don't think I want to take it out because I'm not sure that the floor is going to stay if I do. So, so hang on, there used to be just a hole in the kitchen floor where you just dunk a bucket and get water? I have no idea how they did that. This one is for my outside heat pump. Probably something you don't use much in Finland. Yeah, we usually use underground heat pumps in Finland. Yeah, for water maybe? For, for water heating, yeah. And house heating. Cool. Yeah, that's I, super I, expensive. I have been thinking about using my, uh, my well for that. Ah. Because I do have to pump out about a thousand liters of water every day just to keep the basement dry. Well, that sounds like a cool idea. And the water down here, I've measured it. It's I've never seen it below 7 degrees plus. Oh. So that's I'm pumping re reasonable hot water out and I could kind of suck that heat out of it. That's something that you really should do. Yeah, the, the pump is pretty expensive for it. But, uh, yeah, it's well, now you got it on video, you have to do it now. I'm not editing that out. The, the donate button is... <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on the wrong channel, mate. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't donate on that button. <laughs> no, do you donate on that button. I'm doing proper cameraman work. Oh, We're yeah, real professional around yeah, here. Yeah, you're really... 
I'm just burr, 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 and you're like moving around like it's some kind of little girl you holding hands with but well that's because I'm filming you <laughs> I'm not filming myself you can go up first this time so all right film my butt this time so I notice you have a random pipe of a hard drive magnet putting out warm air in yeah. the middle of a hallway what's that all about uh, I was afraid you were gonna ask that but yeah it pumps up uh, the air from the hot side of the servers out there and it's not very hot it's it's well there's only a couple of servers but it it's a pipe that goes to the back end of the servers in the data center and instead of just pumping out the hot air that the servers do produce I pump it inside the house to um, help on heating so we can actually go see that this is the pipe that goes uh, comes from the data center and up here behind the, the spider web there is a muffler thank you <laughs> <laughs> did you catch that one <laughs> every server pulls in cold air from the front and cools the server and blows out on the back so I have the data center covered in foam like this to um, to keep a cold side and a hot side and the back of it is the hot side I'm just gonna go in here come again <laughs> I'll just have to lots of room <laughs> I'll take it thank you up here is a, a fan blower that is uh, temperature regulated so that it, it speeds up and down come um, depending on the temperature of the air back here that's what that pipe is for and I have some lights that turns on and off automatically here this is what it's like living inside of a server yeah it's almost like being in a van right oh this is actually even more cramped than the van I must say I think I might be stuck I Let's just try it uh, and get out of here. I think that's about everything interesting in here. Anything more you want to well, look at? Well, we're both in the scrap industry, so how much does a server like that cost? Oh, it really depends because these, these are widely available here in Europe and also in the United States. I think about $300 for a server like this. I actually saw a server, not exactly spec like this, but um, it was on an auction in Germany and the price was one dollar. Yeah, if you want to go see some more server stuff and want to see me mess around with different stuff, uh, do join over on my channel here and that sounded like shit. <coughs> No, I can't. I, I'm gonna be hopping and dancing for everyone. Yeah, if you wanna see more server stuff and see me installing stuff on servers, I'm really open to more subscribers, you know? So, uh, All right. thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I'm gonna put a link down below somewhere in the video frame. So, alright. Just search for my playhouse. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be hopping and dancing, hopping and dancing, hopping and dancing, hopping and dancing, hopping and dancing. Oh, 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 oh,